In this video, I'm going to show you how to diagnose an EVAP purge solenoid circuit code. So if you scan your car, you have a check engine light, and you end up with an EVAP code, and it happens to be a purge solenoid circuit code. Now under normal conditions, you just check the gas cap first. You can always do that just to be safe. But what that means is the computer is not able to communicate with the purge solenoid, um, whether the wire is bad or whether there's a connection issue or the solenoid is bad itself. It's always a good idea to start out after you get the code to just take a test light and check all your fuses. Just make sure your fuses are good. There's a, um, there's a little spot on the back of the fuse that you can check with the test light. Just go around. If you have any bad fuses, uh, fix those first. On the engine, you want to find where the intake is and find where the purge solenoid is. It's going to be somewhere attached to the intake because it's going to get the vacuum from there. And then there's going to be a vacuum line that goes back towards the gas tank. Now that's, it's located right here on this vehicle. You want to check the wiring, make sure there's nothing loose, make sure the connection is still connected. Visually look at the wiring. Sometimes you may have a rodent that is chewed through the wires. Because it's an actual circuit code, we know it has nothing to do with the vacuum side of the EVAP system. So you can disconnect the wire. Just take a look at the terminal ends. They look pretty good. I don't see anything green or the terminals itself don't look spread or anything. So at the purge connector, disconnected it. I have my test light on ground and I'm going to check the orange wire and I have power there, so that's good. So if I can send the command to the PCM to um, activate this, it should ground it on the ground side. All right, so I have the other side of my test light hooked up to battery positive right there. And we're gonna put it on the green wire. Looks like it's green and white on this side. We had to have the car running to do this test. All right, so that's in there. Start, increase, and if you look at the test light, it's fluctuating, which is good. That's exactly what it's supposed to do. When we go up to 100%, it's almost done. And the test is only going to let you do that for a short period of time, and then it's going to time out. But at least in that case, we know that the power in the ground is getting to that connector, so we have a bad purge solenoid. All right, so that's a pretty simple circuit. It's only two wires. It's just the computer is not seeing that solenoid. Now, if the solenoid was stuck open and you had an open circuit, you might get a slight drivability issue, but most of the time, it's just gonna be a check engine light. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to our channel, ring that bell, and turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our videos.